I'm Cal Tolstrop. I've been DJing since uh, 1981 and still kind of active. <laughs> I bought my first record at the age of nine, back in 74. And um, around 80, 81, I just simply had too many records to not DJ. Well, I um, did the first 10 years pretty much um, in Denmark. At the end of the 80s, um, I started um, playing a few clubs in Europe uh, around Scandinavia. Uh, went to Paris for a holiday and blacked myself a job at uh, La Bandouche. Um, Claude Chal hired me and I did a few weekends there. Uh, got a taste for playing elsewhere and um, luckily ran into a guy that knew a guy that I knew in London, uh, Brad Rice, who used to be the uh, resident DJ at Love Ranch. And um, he hired me to do a one hour gig there and it sort of all took off from there. But uh, my background is, um, is playing, what do you call it, very mainstream clubs in, in Denmark. Back in those days there weren't really any underground clubs, so I suppose you had to play mainstream clubs. Well, it definitely wasn't a, uh, a good job when I started DJing in 81. My parents didn't like it. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of respect surrounding the job. It was the kind of job that uh, old English guys would come to Denmark and, and do. Uh, sounding like a DJ from Radio Luxembourg and a lot of microphone action going on. It wasn't, it wasn't the art form or the creative um, thing it's become today. It was basically just, you know, doing your, your radio show in a club. And today, I suppose, yeah, it's an... I, I kind of hesitate calling it an art form because I think it's just a creative uh, skill or a creative job. I mean, I suppose if a DJ can be an artist, so kind of baker or a chef, but um, yeah, it's it's more of a creative thing these days. It's um, it's more of a you can put your personal touch on on DJing much easier these days. And also, um, there's a whole I suppose uh, the whole personality thing is is definitely changed from when I started. Um, people wouldn't go to hear a specific DJ in the early 80s. Definitely not in Denmark anyway. I, I know it's it's different in London and, and New York and places like that. And the style I play is isn't that terribly different from what I've always played. I've always tried to keep it pretty eclectic, um, mix things up. I, I find that if you limit yourself to one genre of music, you're missing out on a lot of good stuff. Um, there was a time in the um, in the 90s where I was more or less. Uh, just an electronic DJ, but I try to, you know, just find the best of everything, be it rock, pop, or disco, and uh, and play those. Try to mix them up as as, as well as I can. A couple of uh, CDJ one uh, thousands, aren't they called that? Um, uh, Pioneer mixer, eight hundred, preferably, but less can do. Um, a pair of headphones and a good monitor, and that's pretty much all I need, and I'm set. The Idiot DJ uh, pseudonym uh, comes from a club I did called All DJs Are Idiots, uh, and that name obviously um, inspired by DJs are not rock stars, uh, etc came from just thinking, well, we are kind of the idiots, aren't we? I mean, we've decided to go to work when everyone else is partying and so like choose a lifestyle where where we're not really in the party, but so like, uh, you know, just entertaining everyone else. And I suppose DJing has always had that. Uh, you need that nerd gene to be a good DJ, I think. You need to be really, um, curious and into music and artists and details and genres and and train spotting. So yeah, henceforth henceforth the name Idiot DJ. I thought, hey, hey, if all DJs are idiots I might as well be the first to admit it. Right now um, I'm remixing uh, uh, an unknown Danish act. Um, it's my first time back in the studio for a while. I find it quite boring, but thought I'd give it a go again. Uh, 
I am compiling a, um, a CD with um, a female uh, DJ colleague, Lee Gameltoft, called the Sound of, Sound of Copenhagen. Um, we're on number three now, we've done two so far. Uh, trying to restart a uh, cultural award thing in Copenhagen, Copenhagen uh, with the uh, city council. And ooh, what else am I doing? Uh, obviously planning a few more parties. Oh, and yeah, doing a, um, a night of suicidal quiet music and a monthly uh, club called uh, Selector Superior with uh, two of my best friends and uh, so like old school DJs in Copenhagen. <laughs> That's so good. Remember to turn off the mobile phones, but that one's not going to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs>